and now, if you are one of our younger disciples, it's time for you to scooch on forward. Today is an exciting day for us because we are going to play a little game, you and I. Now, I am going to put up some pictures and you have to decide whether or not the picture I put up is a sheep or a goat. Now, if you belong to the Oliver Chambers family, you already are going to know all of these answers because you have sheep and goats. But for the rest of us, we're going to have a game, and I think I might be able to trick you on a couple. All right, are you ready? Let's play sheep and goat. Here we go. Here's an easy one. Is this a sheep or a goat? If you said sheep, you are correct. That is a sheep. Okay, how about this one? Sheep or goat? Yep, you got it. That is a goat. All right, how about another one? Sheep or goat? Sheep. Yep, good work. You can keep score at home, and then you can just compete with your families. Let your kids compete with one another. That's always fun. Okay, sheep or goat? Yes, that is two goats. Sheep or goat? Sheep. Sheep or goat? That is a goat. Okay, sheep or goat? Did you say sheep? Because you're right. Those are some crazy sheep from Scandinavia. Okay, sheep or goat? Goat. Sheep or goat? Did you say sheep? I got you. This is an Angora goat. And they look just like sheep. Oh, some of you said goat? Well, okay, good job. If you said goat, great work. Sheep or goat? No, that's not a hairy pig. That is a sheep. Sheep or goat? Goat. Sheep or goat? Goat. You guys are doing great. Sheep or goat? Yep, those are some sheep. Sheep or goat? That's a goat, that's a kid, that's a, that's a young goat. All right, last one, sheep or goat? Sheep. All right, you guys, did, you guys did a great job. Now, today, Jesus is gonna tell a parable about a king who is going to come and the king is going to do what shepherds did in the ancient Near East when Jesus lived. He's going to come and he's gonna gather up all of his people and here he's gonna gather them all up just like a shepherd would gather up all of his flocks. And back in Jesus' day, shepherds had goats and they had sheep. And they often would be together when they would leave to go to the next pasture. But when they got to the next pasture, the shepherd had to separate them to give the sheep one place to eat and the goats another because a couple reasons. One, goats and sheep eat food very differently. Sheep are nice grazers. They, they just graze all day long. Goats are what they call browsers. Goats like to pick fights sometimes and like to eat a little bit snack here and there and then go over where the sheep are and snack over there and so they, they have to separate them. There's also some diseases that they can pass back and forth if they're too close to one another. So some so shepherds often have to separate the two different kinds of animals. And Jesus is going to say that one day that is going to be a bit what it's like. That God the king is going to come and is going to say, "Hey, we're going to just we're going to put the goats over here and put the sheep over here and he's going to say to the sheep you did such a great job, sheep, because you did everything I asked. And in fact, when, when I was hungry, you gave me some food. And I was, when I was thirsty, the king's going to say, you gave me something to drink. And when I was sick and in prison, you're gonna give, you gave me, you, you cared for me and you visited me. And the sheep are going to say, what? When did we see you, king? We, we, we were just doing these things for other people. And the king is going to say, yes, but when you do those things, when you help others, you are helping me. And then he's going to say to the goats, 
Uh, not so great, goats. See, when I was hungry, you didn't give me any food, and when I was thirsty, you didn't give me anything to drink, and when I was a stranger, you didn't even welcome me, and when I was sick, you didn't care for me, and I was in prison, you didn't visit me. And the goats are going to say, what? When did we see you? We would, if we knew it was you, we would have come and done those things. But the king says, look, because you didn't do it for others, especially those who are in need, you didn't do it for me. Now, Jesus reminds us in this parable that we, at minimum, are to be people, boys and girls and men and women, and we are to be people who love God so much that we are able to see God's face in the face of people who are in need. And not just do that, but that we are able to actually do something that we're able to give our things away and we're able to help people. We're able to be people who are helpers. And Jesus says that is exactly what God's kingdom needs. People like that. So may you and me and Pastor Paul and Dr. Carl, may we all be people who do what Jesus says and take care of the needs of people who need it the most. Now, will you pray with me? You can repeat after me from your homes, Dear God, thank you so much for sending Jesus. Thank you for showing us your way. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for loving us. Now help us follow Jesus every day when it's easy, <clears throat> when it's hard, and every day in between. This we pray through Jesus our Lord and all God's kids said, Amen.